hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Hello once again, beautiful people. In the last century itself, cars have come a long way to be better in every way. But what goes in is finite and the output relatively isn't great. The future is going to favor the kinds of personal transportation like hydrogen fuel cell vehicles that don't use any fossil fuel and the only waste product is H2O or, well, just water. So in this video, we're going to talk about how these vehicles work. But before getting into the details, make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can see more cool videos like this. Number 3. How it works. The hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are much more efficient than the traditional internal combustion engine vehicles out there. The conventional vehicles in use now are eating up more and more fossil fuels while emitting harmful particles into the environment. The fossil fuels are a limited source of energy and once it is used, it takes generations to recycle or form new ones. This is why hydrogen powered vehicles are a need of the hour. The fuel engine in these cars is powered by hydrogen, which reduces the emissions of hazardous particles and keeps the carbon footprint in check. There are no tailpipe emissions, but only water vapor and warm air. The technology used in these vehicles is similar to that of the electric vehicles as the hydrogen in the fuel cells are converted into electricity, which in turn runs the vehicle. To the concerned people out there, hydrogen has been termed as an alternative fuel officially under the Energy Policy Act of 1992, which makes it qualified for alternative fuel vehicle tax credits. Now to understand the mechanism that goes behind the working of a hydrogen fuel cell in vehicles exactly, take a look at the diagram on the screen. The PEM, or the Polymer Electrolyte Membrane Fuel Cell, is used as the most common fuel cell for vehicular application. Now in layman's terms, there are two types of electrodes, positive and negative. They are called cathode and anode, respectively. To make the fuel cell, first an electrolyte membrane is put together or sandwiched between the cathode and the anode. Then it is organized in such a way that the hydrogen goes in through the anode and oxygen produced from the air goes in through the cathode. This in turn breaks the hydrogen molecules apart into electrons and protons. This happens due to an electrochemical reaction that is induced in the fuel cell catalyst. Now while the protons are forced to travel through the cathode, the electrons are pushed through the external circuit. This provides sufficient energy to power the vehicles. After this process is over, the electrons come back and get together with the protons, which were already there in the cathode side, and together with the addition of oxygen, it produces water. Number 2. Benefits the benefits of employing hydrogen fuel cells are numerous. To begin with, it doesn't emit any harmful elements into the environment, which turns deadly. It merely emits water vapor and air. So no cases of pollution. In this age and era, people are getting more concerned with the environment and climate change and how can we do anything to stop an environmental emergency from happening. Our current generation understands this crisis much more than any other, presumably given that we have been left with only a limited resource plan. There is no viable source of energy that's strong enough to stop the system from crumbling down, but the introduction of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles is a start. Its environmental benefits are too huge to be ignored. But its advantages aren't just limited to that. It refuels in under four minutes, which is much more efficient than charging an electric vehicle, but not only that, this doesn't hamper its productivity rate as a hydrogen powered car and can run up to 300 miles. It has another feature that makes it more efficient in the long run. For example, the use of its regenerative braking system that doesn't let the energy lost during braking go to waste and instead stores it in the battery. There are major automobile manufacturing units that are reporting more and more numbers of hydrogen fuel cell vehicles that are made available in certain markets concerning the existing infrastructure for support. So we have so far understood how the mechanism works in such a vehicle that is powered by hydrogen and we have also measured the benefits that it gives to the people. It is not only environment friendly option, but also makes up for efficiency and is a tough competitor to the other vehicles out there. Companies are also looking for ways to make it cheaper and affordable so that more and more such vehicles can be made available to the public. Number 1. Outlook now the question remains, will we see more hydrogen fuel cell vehicles? While not many are in production as of now due to certain limitations. 
Toyota Mirai is the world's first mass-produced dedicated fuel cell electric vehicle. The Hyundai Nexo and the Honda Clarity is also following the same path. But the difficulties remain. Not many people know about this technological development as it is not widely adopted. Awareness is the key to that. But another problem that also exists is that currently we do not have re the required infrastructure that supports such vehicles, nor are there many available places to fill up these cars. It is also limited to the United States as of now. If you are looking at all the available stations for hydrogen powered vehicles, do not forget to check out the link in the description below. If you like this video, do not forget to hit the like button and share. Make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates for us. Do stay tuned for our next video and stay safe.